Hey guys, this is Neon Nezzy back again with another Destiny 6 video. Today we are doing things a little bit differently. Normally I don't make showcase videos like this, but I just got a new unit, Mosque Shia, and I just thought, you know what? How about I record myself um, orbing her up, which is kind of a fail because I already orbed her and crested her up. But I can show you guys in depth why I did what I did. And it's just a fun, it's just fun to like do something a bit differently. So first of all, let me find her. This is the scissor one. This is the one I wanted. It's so funny. Just like six hours ago, I was talking to Ease the Gamer on Facebook. And I was telling him how much I would love to get a Mosque Shia. And and then, um, I don't want to use all of these. I have enough fodder somewhere here. Yeah. <laughs> and then what happened was that... Um, was I did a video uh, looking over Adonis and Elki, and of course, as usual, no audio was recorded the first time I did it, so that just kind of sucked. But then, towards the end, I did I did like 30 summons, and then I pulled Mosque Shia, and it was just the craziest thing ever, because I was just telling Easy the Gamer how I would love to get Scissor Moss Shia for Conquest. So if you guys have her, she's an amazing unit. There is, I think, a 3-star or a 4-star unit that does exactly what the skill does. Increase or uh, applies bleed effects when you crit. And in my opinion, that's a much safer route to go through. Simply because when you crit, critting is a lot easier. Because when you guys are reliant on stat activation, what happens is that the it needs to go through the resistance check. So it has to balance out between your status activation and your opponent's resistance. And it sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Um, I have some skill dragoons. Yeah, okay, fine. I have, a, I have a lot of skill dragoons. So might as well go ahead and take it out. What does the final thing do? Final thing just increases the damage. So, okay, sorry about that, guys. Got, just, just got a, not a notification. So it just increases damage, not very important. So let me just take this to level four. Spirit of the Horn. Do I need this? Um, not really. Okay, so Mosque Shia. First skill applies. The best thing about it is that when you crit, you deal bleed. And it's a special attack, so you can apply bleed for like 15 entire seconds. Then her second ability is ignore defense. And then you also chill the target. This is not the best thing about her. So I have her kind of on a tangent because, again, a lot of units are very stat hungry. And she is one of these. You want crit rate, first of all. Then you want cooldown because cooldown is just amazing. Then you probably want attack and then uh, status activation for her second skill. Again, like I've said before in my videos, I think the easiest thing to do is unless that unit is very, very um, OP in multiple scenarios. For example, Adonis can be used everywhere. Elki can be used anywhere. Shia, I can only see myself using her in Conquest. So I only focused on two stats. Those are crit rate and skill cooldown reduction. So she has 40% crit rate and 43% skill cooldown reduction. These are her orbs. This is like a leftover. This is like a random. This is actually a pretty good one. This is just absolutely random. Like it, it, it has defense and she scales off of, off of attack. This one's a random, random. The reason why I have such crap orbs at uh, level 15 is simply because I just have like enough gold to do so. So I take it to like plus 12 and then I think, is it worth it? And then like, for example, here I had skill cooldown and I had critical rate. I was like, you know, if I pull something that needs critical rate and if it goes into skill cooldown or critical rate, it could be useful. It thankfully went into critical rate so I can use it. Um, is there anything else I want to say on her? Not really. So let's get straight into it, guys. I can only see myself using her in Guild Conquest. And the best part is we do not need to have someone to buff. Uh, we don't need anybody to buff. Um, 
we don't need anybody out there to buff uh, status activation. So I don't want to. Gosh darn it. She's actually pretty hard to handle. This one, Scarlet. And I don't want to use Moss Shia on her. So let me try to deal her with. Yeah, screw it. Let's go with some HP and some defense. Because I really want to mix about Mashia. So alright, let's let's do this. Let's get rid, rid of this first one. We might fail though. Uh, I wish if someone was online could just take care of this one thing for me. I would give them a shout out. <laughs> in my video. Alright, so 4 million left. Where the hell is she? She's over there, right? Okay. Um, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Alright, please die. I can't survive long with her because her attacks follow you. It's the most annoying thing ever. Such crap, man. Such freaking crap. Alright, let's revive. Let's go for it. It's like now or never. We need to land the blinding just to increase our chances of survivability over here. Let's do it. We landed silence, so that's pretty good. Let's land this and this because she seems to be moving that way. Let's land this. Okay. So. At the end of all of this, I can increase cooldown one more time. Or do this one more time. Yep, done and done. Holy cow, this actually worked. I, I didn't think this was going to work. She's missing stuff. Miss, take that. Okay. Um. Or we're going to go over here. Huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she had the status reflection shield. Okay, um, who can I bring in right now to take care of her? Who can I? I mean, she's so low, right? She's pretty darn low. Maybe I can just use this bleed team. Yeah, this team should be fine. We just won't give her enough time to, um... We just won't give her en enough time to cast her shield. Just take her down immediately. 50,000 HP, yeah, we can do that. This increases damage dealt, too. Alright guys, sorry about this. It's just secretary work. And, you know, like, if I don't do it, no one else is. Um, Alright, let's go in. Boom. Okay, guys. So now, hopefully, it's not Soho. <laughs> hopefully, it's not Soho. That's the boss. So here's my strategy. I am going to simply use crit rate and cooldowns to take care of this guy right here. And the team that I'm going to use is pretty logical. So let me just uh, manage my team right here. So, oh, no, whoops, that's not it. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, what happened was that uh, my roommates are actually asleep right now. And so I can't really do anything about that. But let's just do this. So here is my theory behind this team, okay? I have a break from Adonis, and he has super low cooldowns, so he can put up his shields up again and again and again. Jun is there for the cool 
cooldown re reduction as well as massive damage. Mosk Shia for the bleed and then Tyler to increase chances of her landing her bleed because he bo boosts up crit critical rate and he is at 5,000 striker points. So when he comes in, when he comes in, he is actually going to be reducing cooldowns by like 10 seconds every time he comes up. So I don't think we need anything here, uh, defense attack or anything. Let's just go straight into it, guys. Hopefully this works. Let's go. In theory, teams with Mosk Shia could 100 to 0 hell mode bosses in Conquest. That's what I'm trying to go for here. So, yep, everything is off cooldown. We're just going to boost the shield up right now. How does she do this? Did she? Oh, wait, wait. She, she, it's a special attack, so I need to be... Alright, I need a shield right now. Holy cow, okay. So you apply the bleeding. We're going to do this. Try to decrease, we decrease something. Am I ever going to get a chance to... Huh. He's bleeding, though. There's my chance to apply... Come on, decrease defense. I want to decrease defense. But this thing is going down fast, though, guys. He is for, 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 for sure going down very, very quick. Alright, I want him to use... Here we go. We're going to break him now. Deal massive damage. Oh, let's just shield up. Yeah, what the hell. The damage is just insane. Like, how much damage you can deal with this comp? Just insane. So let me just get close. Apply this. Go with this. Here comes in Tyler again with crit damage buff. But then again, Mashia herself has crit damage buff as well. So it's not really that important for Tyler to apply it. We're not la landing the defense. Um, yeah, we're not landing the defense uh, breaks. Okay, we might actually need to run around here for a bit. Just until... We can get the shield up again. Okay. Oh my god, that did not apply. Yep, this team, this team is working though. It was just a thought. I just thought about it. Like, I'm gonna have shields. Bleed is gonna be happening. Bleed is gonna be happening like every every now and then. So all I really need is just to have enough cooldowns to apply those bleeds. And it's actually working. Okay, we we don't want to get knocked back here. He's gonna do the flamethrower thing. Let me just boost up. Yeah, I think we got this. Because now the bleeds are starting to get weaker. But... John's damage is pretty darn insane. Yeah, we got this. Easy. Tyler's almost back up again. We have the shields. They're going to overlap. Do this. Here comes in Tyler. Super easy, guys. So 100 to 0 is possible with a certain comp. Um, of course, this is pretty high standards when it comes to the crest and orb level, especially especially for my Jun and my uh, Adonis. So if you guys want, I can show you guys my orbs and crest really, really quick. John actually got a recent upgrade where 
Um, well, my John got got a recent upgrade where he lost about like 70 defense, I think. But I managed to give him um, like 18 more or 16 more CDR. So that was great. So he's almost at 60%. Uh, not really important to get him to 60%. That, those are my John stats. I already show you guys my Mosque Shia. Here is my Adonis. And if you guys were wondering, Tyler is just on like leftover, like completely, completely, completely leftover. But yeah, um, it's possible. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have, I might start doing these videos a bit more, like just like showcasing certain units. It it is fun to do this. It's it's a bit more laid back than my normal informational videos. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but I actually made a video today earlier where I showcased Adonis and Elki because they are in the summoning banner, which is when I summoned a Mosque Shia. But then it recorded no audio. So if you guys want me to put a video uh, showcasing Adonis and Elki, again, I've already done a video. Only reason I made a new one is because I just had some more insights ever since the status or ever since the substat stuff happened. And I feel like now I have more information on Adonis and Elki. But if you guys want to see uh, that or hear about it, then let me know. I will make the video up again. Otherwise, um, just let me know if there are any other units that you guys want showcased because this is actually pretty fun, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there are any questions, anything at all you guys want to ask me, go ahead in the comment section down below. I am always more than happy to help you guys out. Um, if there are any future recommendations for videos that you guys have, please go ahead and tell me. Most of my videos, they're just basically what the community wants. And until the next time, guys, Neon out.